You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Alston versus Jones, Delk, and Harrison. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Alston, you say for the past two years, you've been living in uncertainty and confusion. And you're not yes. sure which of three men fathered your two-year-old daughter, Jasmine, and say you grew up without a father and don't want the same for your little girl. Which is correct. And Mr. Jones, you deny paternity because you say Ms. Alston cheated with another man and you have proof. Yes, Your Honor. Next, Mr. Delk, a one-night stand, is potential father number two, and he's waiting in our courtroom hallway. He claims he's the only father figure in the child's life. Now, joining us from his hometown is Jasmine's possible grandfather, Mr. Joe Harrison Sr., because his son Joe Jr. is unable to appear in court today. We've tested Mr. Harrison Sr. to help determine paternity. Now, Ms. Alston, Yes, Your Honor. Please explain to the court how three different men could possibly be your daughter's biological father. Well, basically, Your Honor, I had, I did have sex with all three men within a two-week period of time, but out of the three men, I did have a relationship with the two, Joe Jr. and Mr. Jones right here. I met Mr. Jones um, back in high school. We dated for two and a half years. Um, I did, however, a few months after we got into the relationship, I did cheat and I told him of it. So, Mr. Jones? Yes, Your Honor. Do you agree with what she's saying? No, I don't. Well, from the beginning of our relationship, yes, it, she did cheat on me and she told me about it. So, when that happened, yeah, we kind of worked on it, but I never really got over it. So, when you found out she was pregnant, what were you thinking? Well, here's how she told me she was pregnant. She said to me, how would you feel if you're not the dad? That's not how I told you. That's not, exa that's not how I told you. I told you that I was pregnant. I told you after the test that you may not be the father. There was no test to begin with. How far into your pregnancy did you tell him he may not be the father? About three months. That's what I, um, I, I think I, I was about to pass the three month mark. So, let's move ahead. When you gave birth, who was at the hospital? His mom came. Originally, it was just my mom and my brother. When I got out of surgery, um, Ms. Childs was here, mm -hmm. and I saw that Mr. Um, Jones was here. I didn't expect them to be there. So you didn't even expect to see them? Not Mr. Jones, but I also expected uh, Joe Jr. to be there, because he was there for most of my pregnancy. Robert was only there for the first sonogram. That was it. It was really between uh, Mr. Jones and Joe Jr. Those are the only two people throughout the whole pregnancy knew that they were possible. So, oh, so, so uh, the grandparents was, were there thinking they were having a grandchild for real? Unfortunately, yes, they did. I didn't tell them because I didn't want it to be out. I didn't. It was ex unexpected when I saw both of them there at the hospital. So only the sons, Whoa. only the sons mm -hmm. knew that they were possible fathers. The, the grandparents did not know. Okay. So, I want to hear from your mother, Mr. Jones. Ms. Charles, please stand. State your name for the court. Curtina Charles, Your Honor. So, take me back to that day you were at the hospital and you thought your grandbaby was being born? Of course, Your Honor. Um, I would like to correct Ms. Ashley. She texted me the day of letting me know that it was happening right then and can I bring my son there to the hospital? So, for her to stand here and say she didn't know he was going to be there, that is a complete and flat-out lie. <laughs> because she asked for him to be there. No, it's not That's why I went and I picked him up from school and I brought him there. That is when we saw her mother and we saw her brother. We saw baby Jasmine. She wasn't in the room yet. And as we were there, Mr. Um, Harrison Sr. came up shortly. Um, after Ashley was brought back in the room mm -hmm. and he introduced himself to me, I introduced myself to him as Robert's mother. I never said my name or who I was or what have you. So you were not aware that there was a possibility that there was any other potential biological father? No. Let me talk to Mr. Harrison. Mr. Harrison, thank you for joining us. I I'm trying to understand what was going on at the hospital that day and it sounds like you were trying to understand as well. Yes. You arrived at the hospital thinking your grandchild was going to be born. Well, when I arrived, the baby was already born. Okay. And I introduced myself uh, to everyone, and, and, I, and I said that uh, 
I'm the baby's grandfather. And then there was complete silence. You know, wow. uh, it was a little unnerving. I didn't know exactly what was going on, but I was just thinking in my mind, well, maybe she's not. That's the impression that I left with. So when you saw baby Jasmine and when you look at her pictures, do you believe that she's your grandchild? Well, she looks a lot to me like her mother, uh, but she has a lot of mannerisms like my son, who was really stubborn at that age. And then my son was just that way. And, and so in her, Ashley and my son having this relationship, you know, just made me feel as though that uh, Jasmine was his natural daughter. So have you established a relationship at all with Jasmine? Oh, yes. Uh, she stays with us. Uh, we love her. She, she comes and visits, and we have a great time. And So now, Miss Childs, I have to ask you, have you established a relationship with baby Jasmine as well? Yes, ma'am. She does the same with me. She comes, she lives with me, our babysitter. The adults are making this much more difficult than it has to be because, you know, she's the innocent party here. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Miss Ashley, she'll come that. along so far with us, but then at the very last moment, she'll back out. No, I have not. I've done what You've I was going to You've done that every single have. time. We've no, been I, trying to get a DNA test Actually, no, that's a lie because I asked you at the beginning when she was first born, can we do a DNA test? So wait a minute, Miss Alston, Basically, your child's going back and forth. She mainly goes to the Harrisons. She mainly goes to the Harrisons. Can yes, I interject? You... Because that's not true, Ashley. Most don't of make it. it seem like I, I don't. I'm not I there. Finish. I said most of the most of the support I did get from the Harrisons. Now you have helped. Yes, Robert. No. Right now, if I had to sign my daughter over, I would either sign it to you, Miss Tina, or or to Mr. Harrison. Not to Robert at all. The reason why I haven't done anything for Jasmine as of yet, I've been wanting a DNA test for Jasmine's whole life right now. Like my mother just said, no, you didn't every not. time it came down for us to do something, she would go part way. But once it's time for us to actually do it, she would find some kind of excuse for her That's not to lie. be there. That's a lot. So Right now, what I'm hearing is baby Jasmine is going back and forth between two grandparents, both of them trying to love and support her as grandparents should, and yet there's still a third possible biological father. And he says he's the only father figure little Jasmine's known. And that's Mr. Delk. He helped me from last August until early this February because I lost my job, so I was financially unstable. Well, seven months out of a two year, that's a significant amount of time for her to spend with somebody. <laughs> he says he's been a father figure. You know, I want to hear from him. Jerome, can you please escort Mr. Delk into the courtroom, please? Mr. Dell? Yes, Your Honor. Please be seated. Thank you for joining us today. We are here discussing the issue regarding uh, baby Jasmine's paternity, right? Yes. And Ms. Alston has openly admitted in court today that she was intimate with three different men during the time of conception, one of which was you. Yes. We've also talked about the fact that you spent a significant amount of time with Jasmine and you say you've been a father figure to her. I started watching her in June, okay? This was when you was doing your little paperwork and trying to find a job and everything. And uh, basically, what was going on was we, like I say, we wasn't having no boyfriend, girlfriend. It was one night stand. You had a one night stand. That's it, one night. We, of course, understand as adults in this room that it only takes one yeah, it, time. So, it, 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 so you, you, you are saying, yeah. I understand that I am a potential yeah, biological this, father. This, this is the whole deal about it and everything. Like I was, I was saying, you know, I was surprised because me, I had an injury mm -hmm. where I lost a testicle. You okay. understand me? And I'm figuring I'm almost 50 and he's 20-something and the other guy's 20-something. I didn't think it was a, you know, a snowball chance. And my sperm was swimming. <laughs> Was, was swim past theirs. I mean, these young cats, you know what I'm saying? And Miss Austin, how old are you? 
I'm 23. You know, I'm gonna give it to you, Mr. Dell. That would make an older man say, you know what? Look, if I'm going up with two young ones, might not be me, huh? <laughs> and yet, you still voluntarily yeah. agreed to help her with the baby. That's why I couldn't understand. What type of relationship do you have with baby Jasmine? She lives with me up until 30 days ago when you... It's been 30 days. I mean, it it's happened... It's more four... than 30 days. I've been at my job for almost three months. Look here, you got her four days before my birthday. I was born on May 30th. Do the math. I got her way before then because she started daycare again back in March. The daycare. The point is, is you had a bond with this little girl. They were staying with you. You were helping, helping. take care of her. I, I was mama and daddy. She can know that. You know this. She had a car. You can say it in your Look seat, here. too. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, so, ma'am. You know. yes, yes. I'm, I'm listening now. <laughs> she knew it. I moved downtown in the heart of the DMZ, Bullet City, just so I could be close where her mama and her could have a relationship. She lives with me. Before we get to the results, I want to know, what are your hopes for today, Mr. Dell? Do you want Jasmine to be your biological daughter? She my daughter regardless. The first person she's gonna run to probably past the grandmama. She'll run to the grandmama, but she definitely will come for dad. I mean, she will. If I walk out that door, she will holler for me. What are your hopes? Well, it's like I've said from the beginning to Miss Ashley. Either way it goes, if she is my son's, and that means I am her biological grandmother, or if she's not, I still want to be a part of Jasmine's life. Yeah. Either way it goes. It's beautiful. Let's see. Mr. Jones, how about you? What are your hopes? If she's mine, I have to, I'm going to step up, do what I have to do as a dad. If she's not, then life goes on as it already is. I keep my married life and I go on doing my own thing. Mr. Harrison, how about you? What are your hopes for today? Well, I, I'm hoping that if uh, Jasmine is not my granddaughter, well, she can still call me grandfather. She can still be a part of this family. That's wonderful. Ms. Alston, I have to say, you are one lucky lady. Yes, you are. You have all these people that love and support your child, even though you got yourself into one predicament. What are your hopes for today? That I know who the father is, because right now, financially, I'm going down the hole again. I need someone to help just watch her for like two months so I can just get myself back straight. I'm gonna ask you that question again. What are your hopes for today as it relates to your child I want, and her paternity? I want the father to step up. I want to know who her father is so they can step up to the plate. Okay, and before I go to these envelopes, let me say something. I need you to, first of all, understand that being here today is not just about you coming up with some checks and some money not, and your daughter and some money. That. No. Miss Austin, that. now I've asked you two times. <laughs> and look, you're honest and you need help. I get that. But when you keep answering me that you just need somebody to step up, everybody done stepped up. I yeah. mean, like, the, the point is, is what you're gonna have to do now is step up as a young woman uh -huh. and do what you need to do to become the mother you need to be. And I believe you can do that. Now, uh I gotta ask you this before I go to the results. Are you sure? We've already identified three. If there's more, just tell it now. No, I dated two of the three. I know of seven, not several, seven. but seven, seven different men that came to my home to either pick her up or drop her off. Really, seven. Or called my phone or no came and just stood outside my house no one talking to, to this house. young lady while she was living there dating my son. Okay. Um, that is In my light friend. of that testimony, I think we need to have these results. Mm. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Alston versus Jones, Delk Harrison pertaining to whether Mr. Harrison Sr. is the grandfather of two-year-old Jasmine Alston, it has been determined that you are not her grandfather. Oh. 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Alston versus Jones, Delk Harrison pertaining to whether Mr. Jones or Mr. Delk is the father of two-year-old Jasmine Alston, it has been determined that the biological father is Mr. Delk. Wow. <laughs> he always gonna be the grandfather and she always gonna be the grandmama. And that I mean. And ladies, I don't know how you do it. I done been in Desert Storm and everything. I just... <laughs> well, you know what? Daddy, having that baby for a while. It bought the woman out of me. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I bet you were multitasking oh. and everything, right? Yeah. Well, I, uh... I'll tell you what. I know, Miss Childs, this was not the news you wanted, and I see your emotion. I see that. But what I do feel so happy for is that Baby Jasmine's got a village. Oh, yeah. And I want you to understand that that baby's counting on you, all right? Yeah. I know. You okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I fine. wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> She's gonna be around Terrence a lot more because I now know who the father is. I just kind of let everyone be guarded because I didn't know. I always knew she was my daughter, regardless of a DNA test. We just had a love bridge, and like I said, uh, it didn't matter to me regardless. I, I was gonna be there to help. <laughs>